Okay, um, I won't have a presentation or some like structured contribution, but uh, I'd like to talk about uh, the experience that we went through with Melosh preparing the Hermit exhibition um, with main focus on um, archiving and the archiving role of uh, institutions. Um, the whole Hermit exhibition um, together also with today's event uh, gets like, like this discursive conclusion of the long-term project initiated by Melosh um, several years ago um, at Augusta Foundation um, has actually started with an urgency to take care of an archive and to deposit an archive um, since its previous place of storage could no longer take care of it, uh, which is which was Augusta Foundation, and um, that that's how the story started. Milos approached uh, me in the museum and, and we talked about a possible um, or, or finding a possible depository uh, space for archive, acquiring the whole archive of Hermit. Uh, we of course agreed and um, we accepted the archive and uh, decided to, or like there was like one of Milos's conditions uh, to um, prepare exhibition, catalog, book about Hermit and to go through the archive and revisit the archive again. That's what we did. But one of the main roles of ours was to uh, actually deposit the archive itself. itself. Um, since the whole exhibition that is uh, currently taking place at the museum is built around and off an archive, we have been able to witness uh, how helpful and efficient, or hopefully efficient, uh, archives are uh, for a reconstruction or uh, maybe flashbacking of recent histories. And the term flashback uh, was used uh, intentionally as maybe a, a term uh, which is better to use uh, for dealing with uh, these archives and and uh, maybe pulling uh, different stories from the archives and, and uh, displaying them. Um, of course, it would be uh, wrong to think that uh, this archiving role of institutions is anyhow new. Um, we have many... Uh, many people who are uh, connected to, to these archives or uh, they were invited to, the, to uh, today's event like, like uh, Artpool, uh, C-Cube in, in Budapest, uh, who are taking care of specific types of art material, art archives, but also uh, a huge role is of artists themselves who are um, archiving their own materials and uh, then like the institutions taking care of these archives, uh, like just to name a few, like Vashulka Kitchen in Brno or uh, Julius Kolar Society or Contemporary Art Archive, uh, Center for Ar Art Analysis by Lia Perzhovsky. Um, however, we see this, um, this process of acquiring archives uh, as a... Um, as a good parallel to acquiring uh, artworks uh, themselves because uh, this like documentation material archiving material is actually maybe better helping to uh, build the context around the artworks themselves and uh, we believe it as a as a strong and important parallel to uh, acquiring and displaying artworks um, I'll talk now about my uh, my realization of the importance of archiving that came when I was working on my bachelor's thesis, uh, where I focused on uh, galleries that started in the 90s or shortly after 1989 in Silesian region in Czech Silesia, and these were actually four main galleries. One of them being uh, Bludni Kamen in Opava. One of them. Uh, being Langov Doom in Friedrich Mistek, uh, Sokolska 26 in Ostrava, and Galeria Puda in Český Těšín. And all of them, or like when working on uh, this thesis, I of course approached all of the figures that 
that uh, founded these galleries and looked into the archives. Uh, they all looked very similar. These were like the banana boxes full of folders with uh, different kind of documentation, uh, very similar to what we have now also displayed here at the exhibition uh, of Hermit. And uh, they somehow, like, they, they were of course important for my, for my thesis, like to, to work on it, to, to uh, build the whole thesis around like these uh, archival or, or like this flashbacking of, of recent histories. And uh, for at least the two of the galleries, which is Galeria Pura and Friedrich Mistek, uh, I was definitely the first one uh, taking care of the archive. And both of these galleries are no longer, uh, no, no longer ex exist. And I have no idea what happened uh, to the archives. And I've never looked into it. And hopefully they are in, in uh, good hands, like maybe gallery in Ostrava or somewhere else. But uh, it's also very likely that they just are stored in some attic, in some, uh, in some, some cupboard or wherever and they won't find their way to an institution. Uh, which means that we're, of course, like losing this history. Uh, another experience with, with, with a similar case of Galeri Puda uh, in Olomouc this time, which also uh, functioned in the 1990s. This was uh, another work that I, that I did during my, my uh, master, master studies. And it was the same. I approached uh, Jan Kartička, uh, Jiří Kart uh, Jan Kartička the, no, sorry, Jiří Kartička, who, who was the leading figure of, of the gallery. Uh, he took me to his, uh, his office, gave me these two boxes and, and told me like, yeah, like do something with it and, and find some purpose for it. So there was uh, another archive that came into my hand and uh, I felt like as it would somehow deteriorate, deteriorate in the uh, in the office if, if no one approached it. Uh, so that's, that's just a, a few examples and, and I just wanted to uh, somehow support uh, this idea of collecting archives, acquiring archives in institutions and also like museum and gallery institutions and taking care of the uh, of the heritage of artists, uh, small organization, uh, exhibition places, galleries, and so on. Um, of course, like the, the first step, uh, the first important step is to uh, deposit them in the, in the institution, institutional, institutionalized these uh, to find safe space for them. But of course, the second phase is to uh, revisit them. Uh, to find the second life for them, which is uh, or can be uh, within exhibitions, books, and so on. And that's uh, what we did with Hermit, and that, uh, that's what we would like to, to continue with. And just uh, one last note, uh, maybe like these few decades that just passed uh, from the 1990s, uh, were also the last decades uh, that stored their archives in a paper form. So we actually have the physical form of the banana boxes full of folders uh, with the documentation. Yeah, uh, What is going to be uh, the content of the future archives is maybe an open question. Of course, it's being discussed together with uh, other digital media and, and their archiving. But uh, it's, it's, of course, uh, very also a fragile thing to store data as an archive, uh, not having the support in the, in the physical form. But I'm sure these archives will uh, take up much less space in the future. Uh, thank you. Uh, short contribution about archiving and the role of institutions. And I would like to give word to Miloš.